So as we're moving around our base and he's not letting me pummel in, okay, I'll threaten the foot sweep. And if I get it, I get it. So let's say he does nothing. He doesn't step back. Boom, I get the foot sweep. He's down, right? Well, let's say now he doesn't want to get taken down and he rips his leg back. That gives me the opening. Stick it in. Because when he takes his step, when he takes his step, our bodies come away from each other a little bit. There's a small gap. And I can usually get my hand in there and then start to shrug and pummel. Sometimes you go to the back, sometimes you don't. And you're right here. But threatening with some kind of a sweep to the foot as they step, swim. And then right from here, I want you to feed this arm. So you have a seatbelt, okay? Or take a, take a safety handcuff, whatever you want to call it. Same as Jay, I like to ride up high in the hand. If you can't see this, I'll kind of spin. Because imagine he does have a weapon. He can still manipulate his wrist. So what's your waistband? Pull something out. Point it at people. Yeah, right. okay. 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 All right, or, or he has it. But if I control his wrist, now reach into your waistband. It's a little harder for him to do that. Usually what happens next is they go to grab the head, this is duck under to the back, and under to the back, okay? Where I have back under, keep my head tight, and then I just pass the arm. I want to control the wrist, this hand, five fingers inside the elbow, pinching. My head's tight. Okay? It's not terrible, it's not good. If my gun's on the other side, I want to face my gun. I want to control the arm closest to my draw, okay? So that if he can't, if I control the other arm, he reaches to my gun easy. If I control this arm, he really can't before I can. Okay? And we do this with Sims all the time. Okay? And I'm staying tight and I'm taking my hand and I'm pulling in. I'm not Lego man grabbing his arm. <laughs> no strength. I can squeeze all I want, he's gonna rip away. But if I'm cupping and I'm pinching and my head's tight, it's much harder for him to break free, but not impossible. Okay, he'll eventually break free. But I just need to tie him up long enough for what? <laughs> to potentially get to my weapon. Because imagine he's got a weapon in his waistband, his hands on it. And all of a sudden I realized, when I first became a cop in 97, they would teach us disengage, create distance, draw your gun. So if I do that, he's gonna probably shoot me or stab me before I ever get to my gun. Okay, so as soon as I break free, he turns, right? Versus if I occupy him long enough <laughs> that I can, he can't get the weapon out, I can draw my weapon and fire. Okay, if you ever trained with Craig, he talks about a thumb pectoral index, high elbow. He talks about drawing when you've earned the draw, not from an emotional response. Okay, you wanna draw when it's tactically your advantage, okay? And you don't wanna float the gun, meaning you don't wanna take the gun and float around. Because if he's moving around, he's moving, and I don't have to go, where are the guns going? All over the place. I'm probably shooting at who? Anybody out there? Versus if I'm tight and he moves around, yeah, I, get, I can usually get shots in 